During the August watch, one of our teams was positioned at what we call the X. Although the moon was out, the shadow cast by a mot located on the northeast side provided excellent concealment for our team. One member carried night vision and one carried a FLIR thermal device with a range of a thousand yards. Around 10 p.m., the member with the night vision thought he saw something cross in the far distance south of their position. He reported that movement to the other member to get verification of what he had seen. The member with the thermal spotted a heat signature at about 800 yards, but at that distance could not confirm whether it was animals or humans. This member kept the heat signature under observation and at approximately 500 yards identified a group of six criminal trespassers, or CTs, moving north toward the X. The member with the thermal reported this to our headquarters by radio. It appeared as if the CT stopped a couple of times as they continued their movement north. When the CTs were approximately 300 yards away, there was enough detail seen through the FLIR to update the report to be a group of 12 individuals. The group was traveling in single file, which made their number hard to determine at the longer distances. About 75 yards away and just south of the intersection, the group once again stopped, being directed off the path by their coyote. An accurate count of the group as they left the right-of-way revealed there were 13 in the group. The group sat down and apples were distributed while the coyote scouted the intersection. By this time, our team members had positioned themselves in the shadow of the mott just north of the X. Our team was completely invisible to this group. After a break, the group was directed back onto their route and continued north through the intersection. As the middle of the group passed in front of our team, it broke into two groups, with six members moving north and seven members heading west through the brush. When Border Patrol agents arrived, their canines started to locate the CTs. As more BP units arrived and searched the grassy field to the west, four more CTs were taken into custody by Border Patrol. The CTs were processed and loaded into a vehicle for transport. BP expanded their search to include areas to the north, and by morning, 12 of the 13 CTs in the group had been apprehended by Border Patrol, including at least four El Salvadorians. <laughs>